It's pink, I think. This is neon pink. This is neon pink. That is also neon pink. And these guys, you better believe they're all neon pink. So today we're going to answer the question, which neon pink is best for you? Okay, welcome to the show. In a lot of my streams that I do on live stream, I get asked, what is my preferred brand of neon? Not necessarily pink, but today we're going to narrow it down specifically to pink, not magenta. The big answer to the question of what is the best pink, it depends. We're painting five, we're painting with five brands today. We're going to put it on four different colored surfaces and we're going to see how those brands interact with the four different colored surfaces. On a quick note, I am not paid or sponsored or an affiliate with any of these brands. It is strictly me wanting to give out my knowledge and experience to you because knowledge is power. And by the end of this video, we're all going to have a little more power. So come along and watch as we explore and discover which is the best neon pink. We will also discover with a uh, answer to the availability and cost per milliliter. So at the end of this, we'll have which ones have how the coverage behaves, their availability, and their cost. Let's see, as a note for preparation, all, all the skeleton wares are primed with one, uh, an aerosol can and then hit up with an airbrush primer because my airbrush primers are colored and I was able to then put a base color on the purple to make sure that the purple is a, is a proper color. Then we got black, we got white, and we have a silver. I, I decided to add a silver instead of doing a neutral gray or a brown because the silver is gray. And I wanted to see if any of the paints have the possibility of letting the transparent or the translucent property uh, allow the metal to shine through. And I was not disappointed. They're all, all of these were applied with the airbrush. It's mainly to make sure that I have a consistent coverage and um, I, it's how I do my neons. I love putting my running my neon paints through the airbrush. Everything comes out cleaner, crisper, and half of my style is doing it, um, painting for things to be under a black light. So I always want that to be as crisp and clean as possible. The airbrush does it for me. My apologies for some of the, uh, the the quality of parts of this video. My f camera took a dump, so I filmed most of this with my phone. And I figured no content is better than... Or... My apologies for some of the quality on this video. My regular camera took a dump, and I ended up doing a lot of this with my phone. And I figured... Low content is better than no content. Um, and my side-by-sides, they're okay. But I'm not nitpicking about any of these paints. They all perform really, really well here. Uh, we're just going to cover the differences and how they behaved under the on, on top of the black, the white, the silver, and, and the purple blend. So let's get to work. Okay, so here are the paints we are using today in no particular order. We have the Army Painter Hot Pink Air. The Army Painter came out to 20 cents per milliliter and is the cheapest of the five. It's a great paint. It's available online all over the place. And chances are your local hobby shop, as long as it's not one brand specific, will have it. We have Pro Acryls Fluorescent. A 22 milliliter bottle of Pro Acryl runs five bucks. So it ends up being 23 cents a milliliter. They are also all over the internet and uh, monumenthobbies.com. And here we have the So Flat by Golden Acrylic. It's the, the fluorescent pink. It's in a 59 milliliter bottle running $11.82, but price per milliliter is only 20. 
It is available online and this paint does require thinning with bone prover and water. We have acrylic ink by Holbein, their luminous opera. Holbein at 30 millimeters is nine bucks and it runs 30 cents per milliliter. It's available all over the internet and it does require a little bit of matte medium. The big downer about Holbein is they only make two colors or neon colors. So yeah, they will only appear one other time if I do any more of these challenges or comparisons. And pink by Chroma Air. Chroma Air is my go-to paint, not gonna lie. You can buy it in pint, which is the best part. At, a, at 20 bucks a pint, it's a great deal. It's four and a quarter cents per milliliter at that. And you can get it of it online uh, through the sprayrunner.com. This bottle's gotten a lot of use. Yeah, I love using it. All right, so here we go. We've all done this step, right? When you're painting a lot of miniatures or toys at one time, little ta taping some tape onto a scrap piece of wood or a box or something to make sure that you can hold multiples. Great way to get a lot of things done in one shot. And now we're gonna have the airbrush primer. I am using my really cheap Amazon Masters uh, airbrush for this I have a 0.4 needle in there because primer just it's it's bigger and yeah so we're going to give it the black the white the silver and then the top the purple with the top down white on it so we can then go to neon so now that the primers are all done we're now separating them so each stick can have its own brand of paint for one of each type of primer and get that hammered out. All right, so the white is the first one we're comparing and this happens to be the Pro Acryl. Um, the Pro -Acryl. Yeah. It looks like neon pink. It looks great. And then up next we have the Holbein. Mm -hmm. And that came out a little spotty, but it's super bright. It's one of my go-tos. Uh, here's the So Flat Golden, which required a, little more, a lot more thinning. That's pretty dang powdery. The next we have the Army Painter's Hot Pink, which that also came out super bright. And then here's my go-to chroma chroma color. I over thinned this one a little, but you know, it's there's nothing wrong with any of these paints, especially on white. Look at how great they look. Some of them are a little pink, or some of them have a little more purple to them. Um, but yeah, they're all they're all wonderful. Pro this round is the, is the silver, and overall, really nice. Pro Acryl just coated it. And Holbein, Holbein pretty much coated it too. You can see that the silver is underneath that I didn't hit, but you know, it's, it looks like Golden, it did on the white almost. Silver. And so flat, pretty much it covered it. Like the so flat was pretty opaque throughout. And the army the painter was pink. my very pleasant surprise to see that you could see some of the metal through. And the chroma. And so was the chroma air, but I think the army painter did a better job of being transparent, but very nice for all for all of them, but especially for the army painter and chroma, the transparency worked.
fantastic on that. So here's the purple with the white from the top. Pro Acryl did a fantastic yeah, job Acryl. covering that white really well. It covered a lot of that purple as well. Holbein almost Holbein. worked the, worked the, very similar. Just it's just a little more radiant. Turned out pretty slick. And dang, look at how radiant that is. So flat, very heavy. It virtually Holbein. covered up everything. There's a little oh, modulation oh, there, but not much. The Army Painter again. It's Army pretty transparent, painter. so I had a a really nice value change there. Really like that. And and the Chroma, Chroma Air, Air, it worked out. This is my go-to brand, so yeah, I love it. And this one's the black primer, and you can see with the Pro Acryl and the So Flat that their pigment, their paints more are more opaque, and because of that, it actually got like some Pro some Acryl. decent pink coverage on there. It's very neutralized. And as we'll see later, the black light, it, sh it shines crazy. Now the whole beam, the army painter, and the chroma all got a rust color, which is, it's cool. Like you could do some deceptive weathering with that or, or just hide some pink in, in places you wouldn't expect and then have the black light shine, shine well. So, Army not much painter. to report. You either get like a, a, a dust a dusty rose or a rusty color. And it's pretty neat. And roll my hair. Then let's see the groups together. Okay, so in the end. They all work great under the black light. The So Flat is the most opaque and followed by the Pro Acryl to be the second most opaque. And all the others pretty much behave the way a standard fluorescent paint should. Uh, that with the exception that the Army Painter is just a little more transparent and uh, a very pleasant surprise. Oh, what are you doing here? The video's done. But since you're here still, thanks for the continued watch. And if you'll please uh, click the subscribe button, the follow, um, I'd appreciate that. Um, since I've said I will never waste your time or mine doing a subscribe like video or portion during the video itself, this is bonus if you happen to keep watching. Thanks a bunch. Have a super day. Come on, Puka. Let's go. Oh, and then you walk normal. That's because we are recording the behavior. Thou shalt not record the behavior. <laughs>